Menarik. Oops. We are back again with the retrograde season and Jupiter is going to be retrograde exactly after a month. Today is May 20th and on June 20th as padrikpanchang.com Sunday 8.35 p.m. This is Indian Standard Time. It is going to be retrograde and the retrogression will stay for 120 days. So this retrogression ends on October 18th, 2021, 11 a.m. exact. Okay. So July, August, September, October, and the last 10 days of June, Jupiter is retrograde. And this is a very interesting time because Jupiter retrograde gives us an opportunity to reflect on our decisions. See, you have to understand, there's a big difference between uh, Mercury retrograde, there's a big, and Saturn retrograde and Jupiter retrograde. People do not understand this. They think, oh, it's retrograde, you know, so, uh, yeah, something will do again, and it's, it's the same story every year. No, it's not like this. Yes, the story is the same, but, uh, sorry, the player is the same, that's you, but the story is different every time, okay? So, therefore, when Jupiter is retrograde, you have to understand what actually is happening. So, for that, you have to understand what Jupiter is, okay? And Jupiter in the chart represents your hope, your faith, your uh, vision in life. What do you think you will end up doing in life? And I'm not talking of career. And Jupiter represents the vision, actually, okay? What kind of a life do you envision for yourself? What do you think about life in general? What do you think about other people in general? Okay. Uh, are you positive or are you pessimistic always? Are you optimistic to what extent? When are you optimistic? When are you not? Is your optimism subjected to material availability? Which means if, th <clears throat> if things are good, you're optimistic, but if things are not good, you're pessimistic. Okay. Uh, so, Jupiter in the chart will control all the all these things and uh, it indicates all of these um, things which we cannot uh, see manifesting in the reality physically. Why do I say this? Because Jupiter is the ruler of Akash Tattva, Ether, that which we cannot uh, perceive. It's a part of the material world. It's not something which is spiritual. But Ether is something which we at our level cannot perceive. Okay. Uh, we can perceive the mind, we cannot, we can perceive the intelligence, okay, we can also perceive the false ego, okay. But ether is something which is, uh, which is very difficult to fathom through our uh, limited fund of intelligence, okay, what ether is. So, so therefore, you may feel that uh, things are too abstract sometimes when it comes to Jupiter, but uh, that abstraction uh, comes to the reality through Saturn, okay. So therefore, they say that Jupiter is about planning. Jupiter plans when you should do, what you should do. And then Saturn does it. Saturn does all the work. And when you do all the work, that is when you see how realistic your vision was. Okay. So Saturn is nothing but a tool to experience Jupiter in short. Okay. So many times you will see uh, your Jupiter is not good, but your Saturn is good. So then it means that you are not very good at uh, planning, but you are good at executing. Okay? And sometimes you see it's the other way around. Okay? So therefore, you have to look into your chart, um, both, both the planets, Jupiter and Saturn. Okay? Now you may think, oh, we are talking about Jupiter retrograde, but no, you also have to look at Saturn because the manifestation of Jupiter's plans and all the fancy stuff happens through Saturn. Not only Saturn, you have to look at the overall chart, all the planets indeed, but especially when it comes to uh, manifesting Jupiter's results in the physical world, you must check Saturn, okay? And Saturn is also going to be retrograde. Uh, that video I have already made, I'll put it here at the end of this video. So now Jupiter represents our morals, uh, what we think is right, wrong, what we think is good, bad, depending on the chart, okay? For, for a saint, uh, his or her definition of what is good, bad can be very high. But for a criminal or for 
for a cro crooked person, they might also have some morals, but that those uh, the level of their morality is very low. Okay, so therefore, Jupiter in the chart will represent to what extent are you ready to follow the principles which the scriptures advise us to do. Therefore, you will always find uh, an afflicted Jupiter. If you uh, discuss about religion, spirituality uh, with somebody who has an afflicted Jupiter, they always conflict, they always uh, counter questioning you uh, by their own fund of intelligence. Okay. So, for example, once I had made, uh, met a person who, who, who Jupiter was afflicted by Mars and Rahu. Then we were just having a discussion about uh, you know, the different locas uh, like within the uh, 14 planetary systems of this material realm. And that person was telling me, oh, what is all this nonsense? You know, what is all this nonsensical stuff about heavens? What is all this nonsense of, you know, Brahma Loka, four-headed being staying somewhere up and doing all the crap here, okay? So he said, you know, nothing like that really exists actually it's just your imagination and you are just fooling people okay mm -hmm. uh, the rishis are fooling people uh, i was like all right so why do you think like that he said because we can't see you know we cannot see the devatas we cannot see brahma shiva vishnu we cannot see these uh, uh big people so they don't exist okay so that's the problem with an afflicted jupiter anything which they see with their eyes, they take it, uh, they, they think that's all that is, there's nothing beyond. Okay. So the Vedic scriptures explain that uh, these these beings, they are from higher lokas and we need a level of uh, pious karma, piety to access them. Okay. Uh, without them, without that within us, we cannot access them. Okay. It's like very simple. You may uh, you may go somewhere and you may see there's a big gathering of uh, many rich people sometimes. And, you know, they are having big, big cars and, you know, uh, they are uh, having big parties sometimes. You will see uh, rich people. But if you try to go inside, what happens? The security will say that, uh, I'm sorry, sir, my, my dear madam, uh, we cannot let you inside because you do not have the visiting card. Okay. Or to anything, to a birthday party or to a wedding or to anything. If you do not have the access, you cannot go, right? So it's very simple. But an afflicted Jupiter person will not be able to digest all this, okay? He or she will think, oh, I, I experienced this, so it is there. If I don't experience something, it is not there, okay? And even if you experience something which I don't, I don't believe that because I have not experienced, okay? So this is the problem with an afflicted Jupiter. Therefore, when Jupiter goes retrograde, it is a good time for us to uh, try to look beyond that what it seems. Now, you may think, oh, you are talking of spirituality, but what about the material world? You know, what about our married life, our career, our health, our children, our parents? No, I'm not talking of spirituality only. I'm talking of every area of your life, okay? Which means, if something is not working out in your life, so for example, you are having a difficult relationship with some family member or uh, with your uh, boss or your colleagues, okay? or maybe with yourself sometimes. So you are trying to interpret things uh, as they see. Okay, you think that this person doesn't like you or that person doesn't like me. But Jupiter retrograde will give you an opportunity to actually see and think um, what beyond that which appears, okay? You may feel that the relationship with this person is not good because uh, of something that happened yesterday. But it could very well happen that you you did something one year back because of which this person is not wanting to talk to you. You did something five years back. You did something 10 years back, okay? Because of which this person has lost interest in talking to you, okay? So therefore, it's a time to sit and think and ponder what's going on. Why are things the way they are, okay? Now, when can you do this? Every day morning when you meditate, then you should do this, okay? And of course, this retrogression is happening in the sign of Aquarius. So this, this for sure has to do with uh, communities and other people, okay? So Jupiter retrograde is a fantastic opportunity. Uh, sorry, I mean, Jupiter retrograde in Aquarius is a fantastic opportunity for us to um, try to see what, what is that which uh, 
which is missing in me, which is preventing me uh, from merging into the uh, entire ethos of the society. Okay. Now, this does not mean that you just uh, keep pleasing people and you know, whatever they are telling you, just keep doing that. Okay. It doesn't mean that. Uh, it doesn't mean that you become a people pleaser. But the fact of life is, the reality is that if you want to be happy in this world, you need people. Okay. The modern uh, idea or the modern headless uh, idea that you can be just independent, stay in a room, you can be the king of the world, but that, that doesn't work. That is not what the Vedic scriptures uh, advise. Okay. And when I say this, many people don't like, but... Even if you are independent, you are very powerful, you are very rich, but if you do not have anybody to share uh, your wealth or your knowledge or your happiness, you will be the most miserable person of this world, okay? Now, this also doesn't mean if you uh, do not have anything, then you will be happy, okay? So, the point is, irrespective of your karma, you are rich, you are uh, middle class, or you are poor, or you are very rich, or you are very poor, you have to understand that if I want happiness beyond a certain extent, I have to start sharing. Okay? Whatever you have, depending on your capacity, you need to share. Okay, So therefore, you can check which houses uh, Jupiter is ruling in the chart. And depending on that, uh, you can very beautifully uh, try to see what are the things that I might have done in the past, which is uh, preventing me from um, interacting with people and large organizations. Okay, So, for example, you know, if Jupiter is your second lord, for example, which means if you are a, a Scorpio ascendant, just for example, and this is this is not a ascendant wise prediction video. So, if you are expecting that, then, well, uh, you'll be disappointed because I won't uh, be doing all this. Okay. Because uh, it is important that you yourself uh, try to uh, assimilate things rather than uh, being spoon fed always. Okay? And I never do that in exotic astrology, nor will I ever do it. So, therefore, if Jupiter is your second lord, you are a Scorpio rising, Sagittarius is in your second house, so Guru is ruling your second house. So what can happen? Second house can show your family, family members, your extended family also sometimes. It can also show your in-laws. It can also show your friends actually, okay? So therefore, the uh, second house is a very important house. It can show your food habits, okay? It can show your uh, thought process. It can show what you value in life, all right? So if you feel that uh, there are things which you have tried, uh, in matters of your diet or in matters of uh, your family members or your friends that things which have not worked or even if things are fine you you want to improve it you want to make it better you want to take it to the next level so then uh, it is a very important time that you sit and ponder upon okay? and Aquarius has to do with uh, trendy things okay so uh, when it comes to Aquarius, uh, we uh, always need to have a balance because exactly opposite of Aquarius is the sign Leo. Okay, Leo and Aquarius are seven houses apart. You have to understand this energy. What is this energy? Aquarius is about people and sharing. Okay, But Leo is about independence and just being yourself. So there are two extremes. One extreme is you are just uh, doing what others want you to do which is Aquarius, the other extreme is you are just doing what you want, okay? So that is why this is a 1-7 axis, which means you have to balance the energy, okay? You have to make other people happy, no doubt, but you, you should not compromise with your own happiness, okay? With your own ideals, okay? Never, uh, because there's a, they say that you cannot light up somebody's house by burning your own house, right? So... That's uh, very important. And on the other hand, uh, you can be in the other extreme that I only think of myself, okay? So if Jupiter is your second lord, it could happen that you are not understanding the mood of your family members or you are not trying, you are not trying to uh, see that which is apparently beyond, okay? You are just seeing that which you see in your home, okay? You are not 
addressing the hidden concerns of your family members. Okay, it could happen that you are not addressing the uh, hidden concerns of your uh, of your uh, children also, because children are also the uh, fifth uh, fifth house, but they are also the second house. Okay. And this can uh, be linked to your close friends, okay? very, very, very close friends who are like family, okay? Or it could mean anybody, your colleagues who are like your family, okay? So do not limit the second house uh, to just your uh, family who gave birth to you, your parents. They can include anybody actually. Okay? And of course, it includes your uh, spouse also, no doubt about it. Uh, now the thing is, uh, depending on your chart and your Dashas, most importantly, it will be, uh, you have to analyze it yourself that what is that which I need to do? What is that which will take me towards the ultimate fulfillment of Aquarius, okay? which is, you know, sharing things at a larger spectrum. So therefore, you have to really ponder and start introspecting within yourself that what is that which I can do to provide more value to other people? Okay? by not compromising myself and my ideals, okay? What is that which I can do in context of these two houses? Because Jupiter rules two houses, um, which will actually help me to uh, obtain higher fulfillment in life, okay? So these are the things which uh, you really need to ponder and you really need to think because um, once you start, then you will realize that uh, there are so many things that you can do by being yourself and also uh, you can help others okay and uh, this especially will also hold true for spiritual communities uh, for uh, places where you do uh, congregation okay? which is uh, gathering together and in the form of satsang because the Srimad Bhagavatam which is the uh, pinnacle of all the Vedic scriptures written by Maharishi Vyas 5,000 years back, now, which is also known as the Amalam Purana. Amalam Purana, which means spotless Purana, and which is also known as the Paramhamsa Samhita, which is the uh, scripture for the perfected beings. Uh, Shrimad Bhagavatam says, Nama Sankirtanam Yasya Sarva Papa Pranashanam Pranamo Dukkha Samanas Tvam Namami Harim Param. Okay. So this means Nama Sankirtanam Yasya when uh, Sarva Papa Pranashanam when you chant the names of Lord Hari Vishnu Narayan in the association of like-minded people Sarva Papa Pranashanam all the sins are washed away all the sins Sarva everything Sarva Papa Pranashanam Pranamo Dukkha Samanas all your Miseries, anxieties, sorrows, all the negativity, all the depressing thoughts, all your fears, everything is washed off. Pranamo Dukkha Samanas. Tvam Namami Harim Param. When you chant the name of Lord Hari. Okay. Uh, so, whenever you get a chance, now of course there is lockdown, you cannot go anywhere. Neither am I uh, uh, telling you to go out of your home. Even if you go, then be very careful. Okay. Uh, but the thing is, uh, you can do uh, this online. If you have five friends you know, who are linked with uh, some spiritual community, then you can talk to them. You can have a conference. You can learn about these scriptures. You can read the Bhagavad Gita together. You can read the Srimad Bhagavatam together. Or from, you are from any other religion, the uh, Bible, the Quran, the Dharmapada, the Guru Granth Sahib, whichever tradition you are inspired by. You can relish the divine texts from this, the from that particular tradition, and you will benefit yourself and everybody else. Okay, so therefore, uh, the key point is uh, think, ponder, and reflect on how you can contribute more to the society, or especially at least to the houses which Jupiter rules in your chart, but without losing your true self. Okay, so that is the lesson from this video. Okay. Thank you very much for your patience and if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me regarding how this transit will go for you, you can always go to my website down in the description section. Okay, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and uh, you will find him. <laughs>